How's it going guys? It's Nerdgasm. Before we get into the following video, I just want to let you all know, real quick, that my channel now has merch. Check out my online store at teespring.com, let your nerd flag fly by rocking the channel's logo, and help support all it is that I do. Now, without further delay, please enjoy today's video. The Asgardian God of Thunder, the Mighty Thor, based on the Norse deity of the same name, is one of Marvel's most popular and recognizable superheroes at this point. Today, I wanted to take the time to count down my picks for his 10 greatest villains he's faced over the years. If I miss any characters you feel should have been on this list, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below. But realize, we all have different opinions and tastes and characters. Our lists aren't going to be the same in every instance. Also, I'm keeping things short and sweet with a lot of these. I can always do future villain breakdowns on some of these characters. Starting off the list at number 10, we have the Wrecking Crew. Wrecker, Bulldozer, Thunderball, and Piledriver. Four men who gain superhuman strength and durability after the leader of the team, Wrecker, gained Asgardian powers from an enchanted crowbar and shared it with the other three. Wrecker has made several appearances solo against Thor, and has held his own against the God of Thunder countless times, but I'm grouping the entire Demolition-inspired team together here. I think combined, they are far more interesting and memorable than just Wrecker alone. Next up at number 9, we have the Midgard Serpent, based off German Gondor from Norse mythology, also known as the Wold Serpent. It is a giant creature, a snake, which is long enough to encircle the earth and grasp its own tail. When it lets go, Ragnarok, essentially the end times and rebirth of the world in Norse mythology, begins. In the comics, the Midgard Serpent is part of a prophecy that sees Thor battle it during Ragnarok, after it surfaces from the ocean, has Thor defeat it, and then die from his wounds shortly thereafter, or so the story goes. The Midgard Serpent is an epic villain, a giant monster that Thor can bat around. It brings with it this sense of impending doom, which adds to its intimidation factor and threat level. At number 8, I have Scourge the Executioner, one of Asgard's greatest warriors who turns villainous after becoming infatuated with the Moor, the Enchantress. He would become her partner in evil, more like her servant though and aided her in a variety of dastardly schemes. The Destroyer Armor is my next pick on this list, coming in at number 7. It is an incredibly durable, near indestructible, suit of Asgardian armor that is animated by magic. While not a villain in and of itself, it is made one by those that control it. The God of Thunder has even worn it before to upgrade his own abilities. Moving on to number 6 with Curse. A powerful dark elf warrior named Algrim the Strong, who fell into a pit during a battle with Thor and was severely injured, saved only by his enchanted armor. He is healed by the Beyonder and turned into a stronger being known as Curse. I have actually done a breakdown on this character already if you'd like to know more about him. Next up at number 5 is the ruler of the fire demons of Muspelheim, the over 1,000 foot tall fire giant known as Surtur. He possesses immense levels of power and wields the magical Twilight Sword, also known as the Sword of Doom, which is further strengthened when it is bonded with the Eternal Flame. Much like the Midgard Serpent, Surtur has this world-ending, Armageddon-like feel to him. He is a harbinger of doom and destruction, the endgame. Coming in at number 4, we have Amora, the Enchantress. She's a powerful sorceress who uses her magic to seduce and enchant people, typically men. Unlike DC's Poison Ivy, who uses her beauty to charm her targets with the intention of killing them with her deadly lips, typically speaking, Amora would much rather exploit and manipulate them, use them as puppets to accomplish a larger goal. For number 3, I have chosen Malekith the Accursed, the ruler of the Dark Elves, and a powerful wielder of dark fairy magic. He possesses various mystical items and weapons, one notable one being the Casket of Ancient Winters that can essentially summon snowstorms. 
One of his aliases is Lord of the Wild Hunt, or Master of the Hounds, as he can call upon a pack of dogs known as the Hounds of the Hunter, or Wild Hunt, that can track down targets. Malekith is one of Thor's strongest foes, and I've always found his half-and-half -half design to be really cool, and a little creepy. At number two, I have to go with the Goddess of Death herself, Hela. She is one of the most enduring antagonists found in Thor comics, making her debut way back in the 1960s. Hela has the power to claim any soul and take it back to Niflheim with her, the realm of death. Her touch is fatal, at least to mere mortals, and being that she is a goddess, her superhuman strength and speed easily rivals that of Thor. And at number one, sitting on his throne above all the other Thor villains, is the god of mischief, and Thor's adoptive brother, Loki. Who else could it have been? The Thor and Loki rivalry is one of the greatest in all of comics, not to mention relatable, because it's sibling rivalry at its finest. Loki is the type of villain you love to hate, he's evil, but also playful at times too. He's a mischievous and cunning son of a bitch, but that makes him a lot of fun to read about or watch on the big screen. He's extremely entertaining. Without a doubt, Loki is my pick for the greatest Thor villain of all time, hands down. And that about wraps it up. Those are my picks for the 10 best villains of the mighty Thor. Once again, if I missed any characters you would have included on this list, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 Thor villains list. If you want to help support the channel, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon for notifications, share the video to anyone you know who might enjoy it, and become a patron if you can over on Patreon.com and join in on polls to determine future video topics. I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Take care and long live your inner nerd.